Hello everyone, it's Joanna. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for clicking on the link. I post videos about beauty, lifestyle, fashion. I do uh, get ready with me videos. I do planner videos. So yeah, if that's your thing, you might consider subscribing. So this video, I got the idea after, after watching Fleur's video. She's got like millions of subscribers. Um, and I thought I would share my affordable skincare products. So skincare products which are under £10 and I really enjoy using. There are a few that I have bought that I haven't tried but I got them after recommendations so that's why I've included them. Now I have different uh, product um, that do different stuff <laughs> and I'm covering cleansers, moisturizers, serums, masks and hair products so yeah get your coffee because you're gonna need it i think this is gonna be a long video i'm gonna try to include the prices when i say when i talk about the products i might forget though so anyway you should know that everything is under 10 pound so let's begin with cleansing and i'm gonna start off with this the simple kind to skin vital vitamin um firming cleanser I love this product. I use it every morning when I get up. Just oh, just so you know, I am uh, 45 and I have sensitive uh, to dry skin and I also get uh, rosacea. So yeah, so I love using this. It's like a cloud. It's a firm and it's very gentle. I use it just when I'm waking up. I don't really use this to take off my makeup because I don't think it does. It's just a way for, this is just my waking up cleanser. You can find this around £3 at uh, Superdrug. And if you want just a boost every morning, try that product out. Um, now let's move on to uh, more heavy duty cleansers. I have the hydrating cleansing oil again from Simple and I think this is a bit more expensive. It's about six, seven pound. Now I really like this product. I put it on my face when I'm wearing like makeup and eye makeup and I leave it on and I just rub it a bit and the makeup just melts. So I use this every time I'm cleansing and double cleansing. I always double cleanse. So this is one of the products I use and I really, really like. I have been, I've repurchased this so many times. So yeah. That's a really nice product. Another product I bought recently and I really enjoyed it. I've only used it a couple of times, but I thought I'd mention if you love the scent of roses like I do, uh, then you're really going to like this. This is a this is a, the Nivea um, Rose Care Micellar 2-in-1. It's a cleanser and a toner and it's got organic rose water. Now, I really like the scent of this product. I used it in the more I use it in the morning and it's just a gentle wash. It's a creamy product and I just put it all over my face and then I take it off with a cloth or a little bit of water. And I just think it's a really like luxury kind of product. It smells it smells so nice and it's just nice in the morning to use. So if you're looking for something that cleanses and tones your face, you should check this out. Um, moving on, another repurchase. I have bought this. It looks very <laughs> dodgy <laughs> at the moment. It's very dirty. I love the Micellar Cleansing Gel Wash from Garnier. I think this is better than the Micellar Water. I don't know. I just, the Micellar Water just drips out of my hands and everything. I think this is way better. Um, because it takes off all your makeup. It's really good. I usually combine this with the oil. I go in first with this and then the oil, or sometimes I start with this and then that, which doesn't really make sense. Um, but yeah, I, if you haven't tried, if you've been using the micellar water, I think you should check out the gel. This lasts me way longer than the water and it's just a really great product. Um, moving on. I purchased off Amazon the Super Facialist Rose Hip Hydrate. I'm just going to take off my glasses because I can't see. I can't see with my glasses. <laughs> uh, it's age. <laughs> and so it's Brighten and Refine Facial Scrub. 
Uh, this was £6 on Amazon. I think it retails for 9 It is an exfoliator. It is brightening, like when I put it on and after I take it off, my face is, is bright. I don't use this every day because it does have like some kind of beads in it. I don't know what they are, but it, it is a little bit stronger and I just have sensitive skin and I don't want to, you know, make um, it irritate my skin. So I really, really like this product. It being, It's according to this, it brings back radiance to dull, tired or sensitive skin. So I really love the brand Super Facialist. Most products are more expensive than like £10, but this you can find for less. So that is a win. Let me have some coffee now. Okay, let's move on. So I've finished all my cleansing products. Let's move on to masks. I really like, oh, I like the um, uh, Garnier face bombs. I think that's what they're called. They're really moisturizing. I've run out, so I don't have any to show you. But if you're looking for a good mask, try those up. They're just really hydrating. I really enjoy them. Um, I had this before. I haven't opened it yet, but I am going to use it today. It's the Pure Clay Glow Mask by L'Oreal. It uh, brightens, exfoliates. It's pink. This smells really, really nice, and I really like it. And I think these are great masks. They usually retail for about five, six pound. Now, this one, you put it on your face, and you have to wait for it to dry. You need to have it on for about 10, 15 minutes. You take it off, and then your your skin feels brighter and, and cleaner. So really, really, and glowy. Really good mask. If you haven't tried them, you should check them out. Now I'm, gonna, I'm cheating a little bit because this is more high-end. It's not like the affordable range, but you can get from Korean skincare. I really like Dr. Jart. And you can find a face mask for about seven pounds or things like that you can also find dr jart at tk max at least where i live there is often uh dr jart face masks at tk max and i just love these products uh, they don't irritate my skin they are hydrating for my skin nourishing i'm i'm really enjoying it so this is a single use bubbling charcoal sheet the one i have for correcting solution i haven't tried this one yet but i just wanted to talk about the brand and the face mask because you can find them for less than 10 pound okie dokie now let's move on to like serums and face creams and things like that so the glow boots has a line called glow and I have a couple of products from that line, which I really like. And I'm going to talk to you about them. I'm going to start with my favorite, which I've mentioned in many, many videos. So this is the Boots Glow Essence. Um, I just use this every morning, every single morning. It's cooling. It smells amazing. These are four pound each. Um, and they're usually three for two. So you get one for free. Um, it just, it, the smell is really nice. It's cooling. It just wakes me up. It's a nice, it's not water water, but it's not an oil either. And you can use essences instead of toners. So if you don't use a toner, you could use this. Just love it. Repurchased it. Just, just love it. It makes my skin glow. <laughs> it's really, really nice. Really nice scent. The same line also has the Glow Brightening Mist. It does brighten your face. I don't know if your face is bright because you've sprayed water on it. This is not a very fine mist. So I'll just show you. You spray it and a lot of things come out. A lot of water comes out. I usually have this at my desk when I'm like working and I just spray my face after like a couple of hours just to wake me up it wakes me up it smells amazing they have like this watermelon scent i don't know what it is it smells really nice just a, a mess that you will probably enjoy i've also read about the garnier rose glow mist and that's on my radar so yeah and finally the glow pineapple sleep mask i wear these a couple of nights a week and over like all my skincare, it's a thick consistency. So if you don't like thick, thick creams, you will not like this probably. Um, and in the morning when I wake up, my skin feels more plump and more like um, hydrated. So yeah, enjoying that product. And I recommend 
trying this sleeping mask. Let's move on to something I read and I'm really interested in and I really like. This is from The Ordinary and it's, what's it called? Ar I can't read that. It's too small. But that is the eye product. Now, I got this because of the crow's neck here and I've been trying to get rid of it. I think this is helping a little bit, just make it a bit more subtle and I'm always using my jade roller as well just put it around the eyes all the ordinary products are probably under 10 pound i don't know exactly what this was but it's probably around the six pound range it has a, a pipette which you pick use to pick up a little bit of product i just put it around the eye orbit you know and then here on the crow's neck and i just massage it with as i said my roller uh roller blade <laughs> my jade roller so if you're looking for an eye product for that area, for the forehead, try this. I'm I'm happy with this. I've been using it and I'm going to repurchase it. And a little bit goes a long way. Um, if you want to try salicylic acid, you can get it from the Boots Ingredients as well. And I'm using it, the salicylic acid uh, serum. Again, these are very affordable, six quid or something like that. Um, salicylic acid is supposed to help you resurface the skin and just good for peeling. This doesn't sting and because I have sensitive skin, it's really good. Um, so it's also hydrating and all that, anti-aging product, really good. And um, the thing I like about this one is that it's affordable. I'm not that keen on the uh, packaging because the pump is really hard sometimes to pump out product. I had the niacinamide, whatever that's called, from Boots Ingredients, and the pump just didn't work, so I would have to like unscrew the top and pour it in my hand. This one, the salicylic acid, I think probably the the liquid flows easily with this. So yeah, salicylic acid, Boots Ingredients. Moving on. My friend got me this, uh, so it's Squalene, The Ordinary, again, affordable. This is like, Squalene is very hydrating, really, really good for your skin. It, this comes with a pipette, again. Um, I use this when I've put on most of my skin care, skin care, my skin care. It is more like an oily texture, so I put this on and I have to wait for it to dry and then I apply my makeup. I use this like every other day. I I think you're supposed to use it every day but sometimes I don't have like the patience to wait for everything to dry so again if you're looking for a squalene just try maybe the ordinary um and since I mentioned the ordinary let's move on to another product ah, another product that I really like I've repurchased this this was given to me as a gift but I already repurchased it a couple of times so it's the ordinary nourishing natural moisturizer with uh, factors and HA. This is just nourishing, it doesn't hurt. It's a really nice cream. I just put it on every day and yeah, affordable again. So as I said, the ordinary you might want to try. I have one more ordinary product because in general, it's very easy to find a skincare products because it has lots of ingredients under 10 pound from the ordinary. You can find the ordinary at Boots. You can find them online, so yeah. I haven't tried this yet. The Ors, the Ordinary um, AHA, 30% BHA, 2%. This is a peeling solution. I think I'm going to try this tonight. I know that these can be a little bit, uh, they can irritate your skin because it's supposed to peel and, you know, resurface things. So I'm going to try this today. I'm probably going to film a vlog and I'll <laughs> let you guys know what this did. My friend loves it. So, I don't know. Let's see. Um, and finally, I haven't opened this yet, but uh, I read really good things about the caffeine eye cream. So this is formulated for all. It's from the Inky List. I really like the Inky List products as well. I want to try the oatmeal gel or something like that. If you've tried that, let me know. I think it's, I've heard lots of nice things about it. Or is it an oat cleanser? I think it's an oat cleanser. Apparently oats are supposed to be really good for your skin. So this reduces tired eyes. So this is for tired eyes. It reduces puffiness and dark circles. It's a treatment. It's an eye cream. And in general, I know that uh, caffeine is supposed to make your eyes look less tired and bright and all that. 
And finally, another skincare product, which is uh, really good for you and less than uh, £10, is rosehip oil. So I got the, I don't know, is it called Sukin? I have this uh, rosehip oil. It's organic rosehip oil. Again, I use this at night because this is a heavy oil. This is supposed to help with getting, you know, evening skin tone and just nourishing um, your skin care and nourishing your skin. In general, I usually go with watery skins and I put on moisturizer than oils. You're supposed to go from the thinnest to the thickest layer. So depending on what you're using, you try to, you know, put the products in the right order um, as I said this is very thick so I only use this at night and it just gets all over my pillows and my sheets and everything but yeah if you're trying to get rid of you know dark spots and things like that try to even out your skin and brighten it that's a good product to use um, now I haven't tried this yet but I got this from a recommendation it's a restoring help hemp it's multi-restore sleeping oil it has vitamin e it's from the brand garnier and it's organic hemp seed oil it's supposed to soothe nourish soothe fine lines it's really good for stress skin and sensitive skin and you'll just i you this is a night oil so i'm just going to start using this when i use up other oils but I've heard really nice things about this. I've read really nice things about it. So I thought I'd mention it. It's just, and it's got, what does it have? Yeah, it's just a product you might want to try if you're looking for a new um, oil. Almost finished. If you're still here, thanks for watching. Okay, hair products. Two things. I have the Tresemme Keratin Smooth. Uh, oil this is a shine oil I use it on my hair my hair at the moment leads needs TLC it hasn't been to the hairdresser since before December I've tried to cover my roots apparently I have silver hair lots of silver hair because I'm 45 and yeah I get the silver hair so I do try but my hair is a mess so maybe you would say oh, what's she talking about anyway these are good products I like this oil it doesn't uh, weigh down my hair I washed my hair today, my, that's why my hair is a bit fuzzy wuzzy, um, but yeah, I put this at the ends of my hair and it's just a nice nourishing thing that does not weigh down your hair. And one of the products I love, 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 hair food, banana and shea. This is a three-in-one hair mask from the brand Garnier Ultimate Blends. I just love this. I've repurchased this many, 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 many times. It's usually six pounds or seven, but you can get it for on offer and things like that. So just if you haven't tried it and you want to try it, I do recommend that you try it. Just keep on going to Boots or Superdrug and see when it's on offer because you can get it on offer. As I said, this is not actually skincare, but you can get uh, jade rollers. And I just use these a lot when I'm applying my... Um, skincare products you put this in the fridge it's very cool and then you just roll it all over your face and I just contour with this my skincare products and then you use this around your eyes and one more product I want to talk about is the wet skin moisture miracle from sanctuary spa this is really nice I use it after a shower and it's just watery it doesn't I don't like uh, oils that feel sticky on my skin so really enjoy using this uh, product and it smells really nice i like the smell at least it's like a spa because it's called sanctuary spa so yeah thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to my channel i'll see you in my next video bye